Hi, I'm Debbie Borden Miller here at the Hardy Boy Perennial Facility with your Hardy Ideas. Today we're going to talk about perennials. We have a spectacular late spring, early summer day here, and this is the perfect time to plant perennials. There are so many to choose from, and the garden centers are just full of great things uh, to choose from. We have a lot of different colors, we have a lot of different heights. Uh, when you do perennials, you really want to think about a number of things. They don't bloom all season long like annuals do. So a little planning is uh, great when you're going to work with the perennials. We want things that are going to bloom early season, mid season, and late season. In early season, we have a lot of things like violas, and even columbine bloom fairly early. There's other things like candy tufts and creeping flocks that are early bloomers. Mid-season bloomers would be things that bloom in June and at least through early July, like Shasta daisies and Coreopsis and uh, even some things like this lovely geum here. We have uh, things that bloom later in the season. And so you might not find those in bloom at the garden centers, but there are things like um, even uh, Achillea or Yarrow will bloom later in the season. Uh, Rudbeckias or Black Eyed Susans are considered later season bloomers. And even sedums, although they provide us with foliage color now, they really bloom mid and late summer. The other thing is you want to think about heights. We have tall plants like this beautiful delphinium here, which provides us with a lot of nice upright height. Um, even things that are, that are not quite as tall, penstemons, yarrows, things like that. And for the shade, a stilby is a nice, fairly high plant uh, that will bloom in your shade. That also brings us to another point. You want to think about, is this in full sun all day long? or is the area where you're planting these in the shade. We want to be sure that we include the right plants in the right places. And also watering. Is it going to be an area that's pretty dry? Do you want to do a water-wise garden? Or is it going to get normal watering from your irrigation system? Uh, or are you going to you know, do some regular hand watering to it? So we would have things for the really full sun and maybe on the drier side, again, the yarrows, the sedums, the salvia, fantastic for areas where it's very dry. A lot of the plant select varieties uh, that are out on the market are more suited to the Rocky Mountain region and tend to be things that can take it slightly drier. This uh, salvia, which is uh, salvia gregi, this is Furman's red, those are plant select varieties. But they also have some things that are good for a little shadier, a little more moist, like the Viola Corsica over here. This uh, Coral Bells would like a little bit of shade and uh, would also like a little more regular moisture. Hostas come in a lot of colors, uh, from chartreuse to dark greens and blues and this variegated Patriot here. And again, the Astilbe is great for a shady, little bit more moist area where it's gonna at least get some regular watering. And then we have the things that we call the fillers, the things that fill in the centers, the mid height items, the daisies, the coreopsis. This is uh, called armeria. This is uh, joysticks, which has a little bit upright, looks like a little drumstick flower. Those are great for those kind of areas. Even the salvias can be considered a mid height plant. It's a little more of a rounded bush, but if you have something super tall, like a delphinium, this becomes a mid height type plant. So we need to think about a number of different things. Conditions that it's in, the sun or the shade, the watering conditions that it's in, is it dry, is it moist? And then we wanna go for things that bloom early, mid season and late so that you have color all the time through your perennial garden. I hope this has given you some great ideas and uh, I hope that all your days are beautiful blue days like this for the rest of the summer.